Hey foodies, in this meat season, we've been thinking what to make so that it brings some joy for both you and us. And eventually, we've come up with this idea. First, we will drain the tofu. Extra firm kind of tofu is the right choice for the starter as it will help maintain the shape. Drain it with your hands without pressing too much, otherwise it will break. Then cut each block into one centimeter layers and wrapped with paper towels in between under and over the layers, put them under some sort of press to let the water drain at the same time watch so that it's not too heavy to ruin the tofu. I found that a small glass container filled with water is the best as a press. Put it on top of the tofu layers and set aside. While the tofu is draining, we will make the sauce. Quite a few ingredients will be combined, so take a small but deep bowl and add there creamy peanut butter, apple cider, then toasted sesame oil. Don't use regular sesame oil, it should be toasted for the better taste. Then tamari or soy sauce with reduced salt and finish it off with either maple syrup, honey or agave syrup. I've chosen maple syrup. Okay, we're done with liquid ingredients and the last thing to add to the sauce is garlic. Mash it through a garlic press and then mix everything together to combine. Since we are mixing different types of oils here, whisking it is going to work out really well and really quick. You will see how the sauce starts coming together in just a few whisks. Now test the taste. It is already well balanced, but I have just realized that it does miss some acidity and I forgot to add lime juice. So I'm going to cut lime in half and squeeze the juice out of one half into the sauce. Mix it all together one more time. The sauce is now a bit more liquid, but this consistency still works great. Final test. Now we're talking, it tastes perfect, sharp, but to the point, exactly what we want. Now back to the tofu. We will cut it in cubes, coat with a simple sauce and bake to make it deep golden and crispy. But before that, I'm going to turn on the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit to preheat. Okay, let's take a look if the tofu has lost enough water. I see the paper towels are just soaking wet, which is excellent. It means that tofu is now ready to be prepared for baking. Put the tofu layers on the cutting board and cut them in one centimeter cubes like so. Transfer the cubes onto a baking sheet lined with a piece of parchment and make the sauce. Combine one tablespoon of olive oil with one tablespoon of tamari. Here's how the sauce should look like. Pour it over the tofu cubes on the baking sheet and using your hands, carefully toss and turn them to coat all sides with the sauce. I have here two teaspoons of cornstarch. First, we will sprinkle the tofu cubes with one teaspoon, mix them all, and then add the rest of the cornstarch and mix again. This will allow coating the tofu cubes from all the sides, which eventually will make them crispy when baked. Distribute the cubes evenly on the baking sheet, leaving space in between like so. Okay, tofu is ready to be baked. Bake it for 30-35 minutes or until it is deeply golden. While the tofu bakes, let's prep the fruits and veggies for the salad. Fresh mangoes. Peel it and dice into small pieces more or less of the same size. If fresh mangoes are not available, replace them with canned mangoes with no added sugar or use peaches or even pineapple, either fresh or canned depending on the season. Then add one medium red bell pepper diced the same way as mango. 
and to make it spicy, add chili pepper. I'm using Fresno kind here, as their level of spiciness is medium and is managed way better by the eaters. And of course, you can leave it out if spicy food is not your kind of thing. Green onions. I'll start with three sprigs of green onions and then we'll see if I want more to add. Do the same and adjust the amount to your liking. So mince the green onions and then add a few leaves of parsley. Now all this deliciousness goes into a beautiful wide open bowl where it will be mixed and then seasoned with the juice from the second half of the lime. I think that a couple more sprigs of green onions will make the salad better, so we'll just add it in here. The iceberg lettuce. I'm going to cut it in half first and then carefully pull out the layers to make small cups to serve. Layer after layer, one half of the iceberg has been prepped to make this kind of cups or wraps, if you will. You can use kitchen scissors to make those, the cups will certainly be better shaped this way. All the remaining lettuce we, of course, won't discard. It goes to the fridge for now, so that later in the day to make another salad and meal. Okay, let's take a look on the tofu. Wow, perfect! It turned out beautifully golden and crispy. Let it cool down and then transfer to the bowl. And set yourself for assembling the iceberg cups. Take the cup and first add mango and pepper salad. Top it with a few cubes of tofu and drizzle with a sauce right from the whisk. Place the assembled cup on the large serving platter and repeat for the rest of the iceberg cups until you fill in the entire platter. Now the most exciting moment, trying how this beautiful starter turned out. Well, I know that these mango cups are super tasty. Oh, they turned out delicious! All feels here, sweet, savory, salty, full of umami and texture with plenty of fiber. Yet this dish is absolutely plant-based and is definitely on the healthy side. If you love Asian-inspired cuisine, you will be 100% delighted with the starter. Just give it a chance!